Hi everyone, today I want to test and review the Xiaomi Powerbank 3 Pro. The Pro version is the 20,000 mAh version and it supports up to 45 watts charging power. Let's see some of the specifications that is mentioned here. It has a claim capacity of 12,600 mAh at 5 volts and 5.4 amps discharge current. It also supports 20 volt uh, power delivery the maximum power uh, output is 45 watts so it can charge some of the uh, supporting laptops so we'll be testing that and this particular device was packed in january 2019 so this is quite long now it's october so let's see how much charge is left in this device after unpacking and uh, uh, the this package does not include the USB C to C cable, so the USB C to C cable is required for power delivery and laptop charging. So I bought a USB C to C cable, so which supports the power delivery. So let's unpack and see what are the contents of this uh, Xiaomi Power Bank three. This is the power bank itself and it comes with the USB A to C type and this is not a USB C to C type so I need the USB C to C type cable so this is the power bank 3 pro and this is wrapped nicely and this is the usual manual and as you can see it is usually in Chinese so it's not useful for us so here the claimed efficiency is around 90% at 5 volt 1 ampere discharge and 84% at 5 volts 5.4 amps discharge so we can test these things now let's see what the power bank looks like so this is a very nice looking power bank and as you can see uh, this is not metal this is plastic and it is uh, packed really nice the feel quality is very good and the cover the back the case is not a, a fingerprint magnet that is good and let's see the front So this is the uh, input and output as you can see here it's written here that the USB-C type supports 20 volt output whereas the remaining USB-A type support 12 volts up to 12 volts only and here is the some more specifications the 20,000 milliamp hour capacity and the remaining specs so let's test the how much uh, power is still here and it is only one uh, LED that means around 25% left so we need to charge it and uh, see but first let's test uh, the output capacity capabilities of this power bank so I have the USB tester here and the the load and uh, let's see the USB C to C type cable okay this is a USB C to C type cable that I bought separately it doesn't come with the power bank so we can test charging with some other USB C power delivery devices so first let's check the voltage okay this is exactly 5 volts let's uh, test 1 amp load so it's delivering 1 amp at 4.96 volts let's test the 2 amp load and it's delivering 1.98 amps 2 amps quite good so can it deliver 3 amps let's see or oh, it can deliver 3 amp load at 5 volts that's quite nice 
okay we can test the in capacity like this i will reset the milliamp hour reading here by long press so now it's zero so i'll start charging it and then we will see how much is the discharging capacity now i have finished discharging the xiaomi power bank 3 pro and the discharge current was 2 amperes and the voltage was 5 volts so now let's check the actual capacity of the power bank now as you can see the actual capacity of the power bank is 14,488 milliamp hour so this was the measured capacity and the rated capacity of the power bank is 20,000 milliamp hour at 3.7 volts and uh, the watt hour is 74 watt hour and the at 5 volts the rated capacity will be around 14,800 so the measured capacity is 14,488 which is around 97.89% of the rated capacity so it is very high and the the specified capacity if you can see it is 12600 milliamp hour at 5 volts with a discharge rate of 5.4 amps but the, we measured it at 2 amps so ours is a little bit higher than their specified capacity at 5.4 amps discharge uh, current so the power bank is really good and it is actually performing better than what i expected so now what i'll be doing is i'll be uh, checking whether it can do fast charging when it is when the power bank itself is charging so for doing that i'll be charging up this power bank and then after charging it then i'll be testing it with some loads and then i will show it to you now let's test the other features of the xiaomi power bank 3 pro so what i'll be testing is i'll be testing whether it can fast charge other devices when it is charging when the power bank itself is charging and i'll also be testing the power uh, usb-c power delivery charging of laptop devices using my samsung notebook which supports uh, usb-c charging and uh, i'll also be charging whether it can charge uh, multiple devices using these ports uh, and whether it can charge uh, all the devices in the fast charging mode so let's test uh, using this first uh, device which can support 12 volt fast charging and it supports 12 volt fast charging as you can see here and now let's test uh, by charging the power bank and whether it supports fast charging so it resets and now it does not fast charge so it's the power bank itself is charging but it's not fast charging now let's test uh, another device which supports a uh, better charging like the mobile device so it can charge the mobile device at around one amperes so which is quite low okay so now we can see that it's not charging other devices in the fast charging mode during the power bank itself is charging so let's test the uh, charging capability of the, the power bank using the USB-C cable to the laptop okay it's showing that the it is charging the my laptop but it is not charging in the full capacity it means that the power delivery charging of the laptop is not possible maybe my laptop does not support the power delivery charging mode so let's test uh, using a usb tester whether it can charge in a fast charging mode so yeah my laptop can charge at around 8.8 .8 volts but if we use a usb-c adapter I think you can see that it can charge at 9 volts and 1.7 amps 
so that's quite a lot my uh, laptop seems to not support the power delivery uh, charging through the USB-C cable so in the future I'll be testing with some other device whether it can support the power delivery uh, through the USB-C port using this cable so now what we will do is uh, we'll test whether it can charge other devices with a fast charging capability at the same time when another device with a fast charging capability is being charged so when charging multiple devices it seems to not support fast charging capability so when you plug out the other device it's not returning back to the fast charging mode so in order to uh, return back to the fast charging mode then you have to press the this button and then you should see that the power bank can charge at the fast charging mode return to the fast charging mode but if you connect another device then it resets and goes back to the other mode which is not fast charging so so i think it can support up to 2 amperes at 5 volts charging when multiple usbs are used we can test that using the load here so it supports 1 ampere output and 2 amps and up to 2.7 amps output charging when i'm charging another device so yeah that's it and uh, we can also charge another device using the usb-c like the laptop yeah, so it can charge three devices at once so the test is now complete so what we have discovered is uh, when you are charging a single device using this power bank we can see fast charging capabilities uh, but if you are charging multiple devices you can charge the devices only at 5 volts and maybe up to 2 amps or 2.7 amps output at each port uh, and this uh, USB-C device supports input as well as output and fast charging through this USB-C device the USB-C uh, port is uh, more uh, powerful and it can support up to 20 volts I think in this case and uh, so when uh, you are charging multiple devices and then when you want to charge a single device in the fast charging mode then you have to press this reset button to reset and then you can charge the single device in the fast charging mode in the QC3 or QC2 mode and the power delivery I haven't tested it yet but I'll be testing in the future so I think this is a quite a really nice power bank the build quality is seems to be really good this uh, these two panels are polished and these are fingerprint magnets but the body itself is quite smooth and it doesn't have any fingerprints on it so i think it's really good device uh, thank you for watching and uh, please consider subscribing